In this video, I will introduce some ideas and tips to help you complete your solar system drawing. Our goal with this assignment is to try and represent the sizes of the sun, planets, and planetary orbits as accurately as we can. This will help you to better understand the relative sizes or scale of the solar system. Before you begin, be sure that you have completed the Part 1D and 1E material that will help to get you ready. Also look over the assignment instructions and the grading rubric. The rubric outlines what I will be looking for when reviewing and providing feedback on your drawing. Next in this video, let's take a look at the NASA Solar System Viewer. After that, we will try a football field analogy. The NASA Solar System Viewer is located at solarsystem.nasa.gov. This website has a great many resources and a lot of information about the solar system and the planets and the moons and asteroids and all the other objects within it. If you scroll down, you'll find this tool. This is the viewer, the interactive portion, where you can use the mouse and zoom in and out and explore the objects of the solar system. If I zoom way out, you can see all of the planets, or at least the locations of all of the planetary orbits, and a few spacecraft uh, that have actually extended outside most of the solar system. So one of the things we can see with this are the wide spacings of the orbits of the outer planets. We have Jupiter, we have Saturn, we have Uranus, we have Neptune. And this simulation actually shows the current relative positions. And so you can see the you other, know, they're, they're here and there uh, in different positions around the sun. We can zoom in farther and then we start to be able to see the inner planets. We have Mars, we have the Earth, we have Venus, and we go in a bit further, there it goes, we can see Mercury. And again, they're in different positions as well. If we go in a bit further, perhaps we can look over here, where the Earth is, we can get it to center in, and it'll actually show us the planet itself and things that are in very close by. But if I go from the planet out, 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 eventually we can't really see the Earth anymore. Okay, and we're still not far enough to be able to see much of the solar system either. There we go. Now I need to adjust the perspective. You can look at the solar system from above, from below, uh, really any direction you like. But the idea here is that that barely noticeable little dot is approximately the Earth to scale. And if I go out, you, know, you really can't hardly see the Earth anymore. Uh, we go center on the sun, which we can get a closer view of the sun. But again, if I zoom out, the sun is like this little tiny dot in the middle of this very vast solar system. So in this viewer, at the scale where you can see the sizes of all of the orbits, you can't really see the individual planets. You have to zoom way, way, way in to get any kind of detail on the individual objects. So the solar system is mostly a lot of empty space and then a few objects within that. Next, we have an analogy which uses a football field to give us another perspective of the scale of the solar system. First, we will focus on the background of the photo with the spacing of the sun and planets labeled. 
the distances to the orbits of the planets are labeled with the first letter of each planet's name. I have zoomed in a bit on the photographs so that Neptune and Pluto no longer fit on the screen. This lets us see some of the variation in the spacing of the planetary orbits that are in a little bit closer. This view shows us that the orbits of Jupiter, Saturn, and Uranus are much farther apart from each other compared to the closer together orbits of Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Next, we will focus on the sizes of the Sun and planets. In the photo, we have a person's hand holding several objects. The orange ball is about the right size for the Sun. So if the solar system is set to the size of an entire football field, then the Sun would be a little bit more than one inch across, or just under three centimeters. That's all. The four ink pens in the photo represent the smaller inner planets, and the four metal beads represent the outer gas giant planets. Using a football field for scale, thus gives us a Jupiter that's only about three millimeters across. With the same scale, the Earth is only one quarter as wide as the tip of a pen. And Venus would be about the same, and Mercury and Mars would both be even smaller than that. This perspective has several implications for completing your assignment. Clearly, the planets are different sizes. Jupiter is many times larger than the Earth, and both of them are much smaller than the Sun. You will want to draw in those size differences. For the orbits, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars orbit relatively close to the Sun and also relatively close to each other. In comparison, the orbits of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, and Pluto, are both much farther from the Sun and also much farther apart from each other. Again, you will want to draw in these differences. But fitting the entire solar system on a page of paper makes the planets too small to even see them. So obviously that won't work when you need to show the size differences between the planets and the sun. To solve this challenge, you have to draw the planets and the sun much too big for the sizes that you will need for the orbits. And you will have to scale up by a lot to be able to show, for example, how much bigger, bigger Jupiter is than the Earth. So effectively, you will have one size scale for the orbits and a different size scale for the solar system objects. I recommend that you write somewhere on your illustration to indicate that the object sizes have been exaggerated relative to the orbit sizes and by how much.